Hey guys, and welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be making some 68% concentrated azeotropic nitric acid. Now, this can be done fairly easily through the reaction of potassium nitrate, or some other nitrate salt, with sulfuric acid. And I showed how to make potassium nitrate in a previous video from some cold packs. Alternatively, you could purchase it from hardware stores, such as Home Hardware, as a stump remover. The sulfuric acid that I'm going to be using here is dirty sulfuric acid, around 70% concentration, and this was just recovered from some other reactions. The main contaminant here is water, of course, however there is some other salts, but they will not interfere with this particular reaction. You could also use some drain cleaner from hardware stores such as Rona, or some purified 98% sulfuric acid, which you can purify through distillation. Now, for this particular concentration of sulfuric acid, we're going to need about 400 grams of potassium nitrate and 300 milliliters of 70% sulfuric acid. Now, I did have a slight excess here, and that's just to account for the fact that I have a bit of uncertainty with the exact concentration of our sulfuric acid, and this will just ensure that all of our nitrate salt is used up. Now, this reaction proceeds in a 1 to 1 molar ratio, so if you're using some other concentration of sulfuric acid, you could adjust the amounts accordingly. Initially, everything was added into a 500 milliliter round bottom flask, however, as you can see, it clearly didn't fit. So, before beginning the distillation, I quickly swapped it for a 1 liter flask, and this worked much better. As you can see, the sulfuric acid is reacting with a potassium nitrate to form the nitric acid. This is boiling around 121 degrees Celsius, and you can see we're collecting our 68% azeotrope in the flask to the right. Now, first I did collect some water in this 500 milliliter round bottom flask, as you can see, and this is everything that just came over below 121 degrees Celsius. This is actually dilute nitric acid, and could be useful for cleaning or some other reactions which require a lower concentration of nitric acid, so don't throw it out. I'd highly recommend saving it. This is what I'll be doing. So, after a few more batches, you can see that we got about 600 milliliters of our nitric acid. This was done after doing four more runs with the exact same reactants, and finally I used up all that old sulfuric acid, which was my goal. So this nitric acid is useful for various nitration reactions, and in general, it is just a useful acid to have around the lab. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in a future project. Okay, bye.